So the question is, how do you get the so-called environmental community to support to support the sewage waiver? Well, what you do is you you convince them that they should just go along this time with the waiver, and you know get them to uh, okay it provisionally or for whatever. Just so they they did this every time. The last time the Sierra Club uh, supported the waiver, the guy got up and said, "We have no problem with this waiver." And, and now this time, you know, they're all going through this same thing again. My name is Bruce Resnick. I'm the executive director of San Diego Coast Keeper. And uh, if you saw the paper today and, and from uh, Mr. Camero's comments, we are working to uh, cooperatively with the city to develop a, uh, a long-term strategy to reduce uh, or even eliminate ocean discharge of sewage and maximize water reclamation and reuse in the region. Uh, we've reached a tentative agreement with the mayor, which has been reviewed by the city attorney's office. We have presented to this on the city council's um, natural resources and culture committee and it's docketed uh, for a vote on uh, January 27th. Um, assuming that we can reach that agreement on the 27th, one day before public comment closes, uh, we are uh, okay with this waiver moving ahead, um, assuming this is the last waiver for uh, the city of San Diego. Now, uh, despite what you probably will hear uh, later, San Diego Coast Keeper does not like the waiver. Um, and, and there it is, Bruce Resnick of Coast Keeper, trying to explain uh, how this is going to be the last waiver and that they're working cooperatively with the city and that it's okay with them so long as they sign this agreement with the city on the 27th. What he's not saying is that there's no guarantee that this is the last waiver. You know, each time they've said, you know, this is the last waiver, but what they really want is just to get it passed. Now, what happens if they really wanted to make this the last waiver? Well, what they would do is they'd go to the to the uh, an environmental protection agency and the Regional Water Quality Control Board. They'd say, we wish to get rid of the waiver. We'd like to make a settlement agreement, and we want to phase out the waiver. And here's the plan. And then the environmental protection agency would give them 10 years or 8 years or 12 years, whatever it takes to get rid of the waiver. But unless you get that settlement agreement, you know, once you just get, if you just get a regular waiver extension, then you'll just go on again the next five years, you know, asking for the same waiver all over again. So the only thing that ends this, the only thing that ends the waiver is the settlement agreement and agreeing to give up the waiver and agreeing to bring the sewage treatment up to at least the secondary treatment standard. So, you know, to, to get rid of the waiver means to properly treat the sewage. It means to begin to protect the ocean. 